Minecraft Java Edition 1.19.4 has been released extremely recently, at least it has at the time of recording this video. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how you can actually update your texture packs to Minecraft 1.19.4. Um, yeah, so, you know, all your Minecraft texture packs, they're basically going to be broken. Um, and no matter if you made them yourself, if you downloaded them from online, um, well, not necessarily broken, they're just going to be outdated. If you look inside Minecraft as well, you'll see a long red list with all your packs not working. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you made the pack yourself or if you already have this pack but you downloaded from online. Today I'm going to show you how to make it work for 1.19.4 and it's incredibly simple. So, I've got my pack right over here. This is It's Me 64's Tool Revamp 1.19.3. Which is the version obviously before 1.19.4. Um, it's also fine if your pack is 1.19.2 or maybe even 1.16. It all doesn't matter. We're just going to make it work for 1.19.4. Do keep in mind though that if your pack is like from before 1.15, you might need to do some other stuff to actually get it updated. But anyways, the first thing you want to do is right click on this and then you want to click on this extract all button you see over here because this is going to be a zip file. Then you can click on extract again just like that. Now you'll get a regular folder as well. So you'll have a zipped folder and a regular folder. Now let's say you right click on this and you don't see the extract all button. Well. If that's the case, then you want to download a program um, like 7-Zip or WinRAR or something like that, and that's going to actually allow you to, um, to you know, turn this from a zip file into a regular file folder. If you made this texture pack, then you'll already have to have done something like this, and you should just be able to do this step no problem. Anyways, this old texture pack, if you don't really necessarily need it anymore, you can just throw it away, not do whatever I just did there and mess up all your files on your desktop. Not like my desktop was um, incredibly clean anyways, but I do like to keep it somewhat organized for myself or give myself the illusion that it's organized more. Anyways, um, basically this right over here, yeah, it's a regular file folder, which means we can edit everything that's inside. In this case, your assets folder and your pack folder are all are both going to be that fine, both just fine. Yeah, um, you might not even have a pack icon if you only have these two. That's fine as well. We basically want to focus on the pack .mcmeta. You can open that up right here. Yeah, you can open it up with anything. You can open it up with Notepad, with Word, maybe even. I don't know if that's going to work. Um, I'm using Notepad plus plus to open it. Um, it's a free program, you can download it from the internet or from the Microsoft Store, um, and that'll get it all to look just like this and look pretty clean like this. So, yeah, if you want to, you can download that. Anyways, um, what we want to focus on right here is the pack format, yeah? The pack format is a number, which basically changes every time Minecraft updates, or Minecraft Java edition at least, yeah? so. In this case, it is 12, and 12 is the one that works for 1.19.3. However, we want to update it to 1.19.4. So basically, what we want to do is we want to change this from 12 right over to 13, and that's basically it. Now, you do want to watch out, because this right here, it's a very important file. Yeah, if I were to, let's say, accidentally remove this comma, then the entire pack is not going to show up inside of Minecraft. So you need to make sure to not touch anything other than this number. Yeah, once you have changed this to 13, um, it doesn't matter what it was before. You just want to change it to 13. Once you've done that, you can click on Control S to save it um, or go over to File and save it from there. Then you can just click it away. Next, we're going to want to reverse what we did before to be able to, you know, import this into Minecraft. So, what you want to do is where you can see all these three, you want to press Ctrl A to select everything or just select everything like this. Yeah. Once you have these three or two um, things selected, you can right click on them and then click on Compress to Zip File. 
just like this. This you can call anything you want. In my case, it's going to be HB64's tool revamp 1.19.4 because that's the version. It's HB64's. It's it's me 64's. Oh my god! As you can see, I do make Minecraft texture packs, a whole bunch of them. I'll link those in the description below if you want. Anyways, um. Once again, you might need a program like 7-Zip, which you can see right here, or WinRAR, um, if you want to um, if you want to perform that action. Anyways, with this new pack, um, you can bring it over there, and to just check that it's going to work, you can click on it, and then you should see the assets packed up like meta, and potentially the pack icon as well. Anyways, if that's the case, then you can throw away this folder if you want to. Um, and otherwise, you can just launch Minecraft 1.19.4 to import the pack. As you can see, I've got Minecraft launched. I'm just going to keep it tabbed for right now, as it's easier to import texture packs that way. Anyways, basically, we can go over to Options and then over to Resource Packs. And... As you can see, um, I've already actually updated one of my packs to one dot um, to one dot one dot seven to whoa to one dot nineteen dot four. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Anyways, we can open the pack folder right here, and then this the new pack you just made, you just updated, you can slide that right in. Yeah, one thing you want to watch out for is if you've already got packs in here like I do, um, then you make sh then you need to make sure that you don't accidentally um, put it inside one of those packs. Because that's the thing, you can put your pack inside a pack and then it's not going to work. You want to make sure that it's actually in the folder. Anyways, if it's in the folder, then you can basically just click this away and then as you can see, right there, it's uh, it's inside Minecraft. So to enable it, you can just turn that on right there and then click on done. Now your texture pack should work in game. Anyways, basically that's uh, that that's all, you know. Um if you have any questions whatsoever, stuff like that, make sure to leave those down in the comments below. I've got so much more tutorials as well on stuff relating to texture packs. So if you want to learn anything more, then make sure to check the playlist that will be linked in the description below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.